It's a controversial issue. You either love them or hate them. And in the city of Parksville, it could be soon illegal to feed them. Deer populations on the island seem to be on the rise, especially in urban areas. Now, Parksville is looking at a possible cull. Dean Stoltz reports, but first a warning. There are some images that may be disturbing to some viewers. It's been watched thousands of times on YouTube, but it's still disturbing every time you see it. A deer attacking a dog on a city street in Cranbrook in the summer of 2010. Incidents like this might be rare, but encounters with deer inside city limits are on the rise. And that's why one city councillor in Parksville wants a new law to protect the deer and humans. You know, there's deer all over the place by my place. I went out the other day and there was five on another neighbor's lawn. You know, we had a cougar down right in downtown Parksville this summer. And it's like we've created this smorgasbord for the cougars and, and for other predatory animals. And, you know, it... It's not healthy for the deer population or for the human population. So she put forward a motion at a recent council meeting that was passed unanimously. It has city staff now looking at a new bylaw that could prohibit feeding deer inside city limits as well as a possible deer cull. People really like deer, like it's a real hot topic. And uh, when you think about calling them, and that's part of my resolution that to look at calling, when you look at that, people think of killing Bambi. But that's not what the intent is. It's to look at all options up to including color. Reactions around Parksville are mixed, but resident Judy Millicheap once had a big deer destroy half of her glass greenhouse. Well, I don't think that that many people actually feed the deer, and how are you going to enforce that anyhow? And, yeah, I think a call, if it's done humanely, I think that's okay in areas where there are an abundance of deer. I was a little bit surprised to hear that they wanted to call them. I don't, I don't believe that that's appropriate. Uh, I approve of the no feeding of the deer, mm -hmm. definitely. I think there's enough for them to eat, you know. Other communities have wrestled with the same issue. In fact, a call has now been approved in Cranbrook. In Comox, where deer are also plentiful, people seem to be a little more accepting. We have signs in town that say expect deer on our roads and it seems though uh, that people are, are acceptive of that. It hasn't come to that point here where council has been asked specifically to do something but as other communities deal with it I'm sure we'll be asked. We could know what the plan in Parksville is by the end of the year.